why do we believe people who fiddle with numbers and say that you can't do it? It's common sense says you take it off the existing roadway and it's going to be faster. It could be bus, it could be LRT, it could be subway. You don't leave it on the existing roadway. Even with uh, technology, even with Let's face it, a light rail vehicle is a contemporary streetcar. The streetcar was the precursor of, a, of an LRT, so it's still on the surface. So people have been disparaging an LRT, I'm not one of them, but uh, it's still, you're not going to have anything on the surface as fast as going on. Um, I, seldom, I seldom get a chance to speak uh, with the mayor uh, because he's he's busy and uh, I'm not downtown uh, that much anymore. So uh, I know I have not spoken to him directly or indirectly um, for about a week and a half. Do you have an application? Yeah, the P3 application has been screened in and they're just waiting for council to make a decision to move ahead. I think we should do that. I, I think it's uh, it's ridiculous that we're not even considering exploring the possibility of doing something that will once and for all settle the question: Is the private sector interested or is it not? And if it's not, then hey, listen, I'll go play golf sooner, and uh, uh, people will move on. How much have they asked for? Well, there's going to probably be a requirement for five to ten million dollars to go forward and do the refined business case. But it doesn't matter to me whether you're an NDP or a Liberal or a Conservative. If you're truly interested in the possibility, the potential of saving taxpayers money, you should be exploring this possibility. And if you don't, I think that's a dereliction of duty. How much of an impact is Mayor Ford because he continues to say that he will not support any taxes or revenue rules of any kind? You know, what, what are you guys trying to do? Uh, um, it's a bit of an impediment. Uh, it's an impediment because, first of all, it's not within the city of Toronto. It has to be regional. And Metrolinx wants to do it. The province wants to do it. It's just this, this nonsense um, that's going on politically. Because if Metrolinx had done it when they were supposed to do it, you wouldn't be in the position of having us debate it now. Now they put it off till sometime in 2013. They have a report, or at least a draft report. They want to do all the things we're talking about. I realize the City of Toronto does not have the authority to do the things we're talking about. We, we really need provincial enablers. In the wake of the Drummond Report, in the wake of this fiscal mess, why are we being so stubborn and not exploring the possibility of using a private sector? It's mind-boggling. Isn't one of the people who's... Who is being stubborn and not allowing exploration, Mayor Ford, because he won't allow no, exploration of the kind of rent that he was before? I would, I would say that the mayor has a stubborn side to him. <laughs> you want me to elaborate on that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, I, I think. Uh, both sides on this uh, debate have let it get out of hand and I think in saner moments with uh, perhaps a different team and so on uh, we might have worked through uh, some of the some of the bottlenecks but um, I'm hoping that saner heads will still prevail on uh, on Wednesday and as, as I said if they if they don't uh, my summer holidays are going to start pretty early okay.